So today I'm going to talk about a couple common misconceptions that people have when they first move to Los Angeles to become actors. Okay, well, first, you're not going to be an overnight success. Don't expect to come out here for three months and make it big. It's not going to happen. Um, it's just not. You're not going to get discovered in Starbucks. You're not going to get discovered walking down the street. It just doesn't happen. Media likes to let you think that that kind of thing happens. And maybe there was a point in history where it was possible, but it's not going to happen. And every example I've ever heard about, if you actually look into it, it's not true. Someone might have met up with somebody in a Starbucks, but they had already done a lot of stuff. They had a resume. They had credits. So it wasn't like they got off the bus and were discovered in the Starbucks. No. So it's going to require a lot of work and probably a couple of years before you even have a shot at making enough money to live off of. So expect a lot of hard work and quite a bit of time. Now, it, the time varies. Some people succeed faster than others. Some never do. But it's not going to be overnight. That much I can tell you. Okay. Oh, and if you say, like, well, no, I'm special. My family says I'm brilliant. No, everyone's family says they're brilliant. Most people have friends that say, like, oh, you're a great actor. You should be on soaps. Yeah, well, there's a lot of people in town that should be on soaps, and they can't all be on soaps. So the competition is very fierce. So ignore what friends and family say. You're not special. It's not your destiny. Now, if you want to come and pursue it, more power to you. That's what I did. And I don't regret it for a minute, but it's not your destiny. It's not. <laughs> no, it's your dream, and that's great. So, uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, getting an agent. Now, when you come to town, you want an agent, right? Because everyone needs an agent so they can go out and audition for all the TV shows. Not going to happen. You're not going to get a theatrical agent, and theatrical includes television, right away. Assuming you come here with no credits and no experience, except for college or local stuff, it's not going to happen. Theatrical agents want you to have credits. Not only credits, credits they recognize, and a demo reel, and training beyond college, you know, probably Los Angeles-based training, so they want to know the teachers. Um, some or all of these things are required for you to even get in the door to see them. And even if you're brilliant and you somehow get in the door, they're not going to want to represent you because they can't sell you to casting directors. I'll go into this in more detail in a later video. But, um, but yeah, you're not going to get an agent. You can't pick up the phone, call up an agency, and say, like, hey, I want an agent. I'm new to town. I want to come in and meet with you, and you'll see how great I am. I did that. I didn't use those words, but I called an agent. And, yeah, they don't like that. <laughs> um, they might give you their address, or they might hang up on you. They did give me the address, actually, but he wasn't happy, and I could tell. Then you send your resume and your headshot in, and if they like you, they will call you in. If they don't, you will never hear from them. And the percent of return is about 3%. So if you send up 100 pictures, you might get three responses. And this is also assuming you have credits. Don't even bother with theatrical. Focus on commercial when you get to town, because commercial... A big chunk of it is look and not talent, so they don't require credits as much. It's still going to be hard because there's a lot of actors out there with a lot of looks and a lot of credits who also are on a commercial agent. So it's your percent might be less than 3%, but that's where you should start because don't even bother with theatrical. Oh, and you can submit online to a lot of agencies now in this digital age, so that saves money, but it probably also means they probably get even more submissions. Um, oh, and just touching back again on how an agent is not going to want you if you don't have credits. If someone comes up to you in a mall or on the street and says, I like your look. I want to represent you. I think we can make a lot of money. I think you, you can be a star. I'm going to make you a star. Don't believe them. They want to take your money. They want to sell you headshots and probably classes and rip you off. They do it with children as well. They, they prey upon mothers who think their little angels are beautiful. So just walk the other way. 
do not fall for that scam. I'll cover scams in a later video as well. But that's just about all for this one. So I hope you subscribe to my channel, and I will see you again real soon.